Let's jump to the facility uh, use agreement. Every two years, the uh, Board of Education, well, every, every July, the board approves the facility use agreement uh, for rentals of the facility. Every two years, the administration reviews uh, our fees compared to those surrounding districts fees. And then we adjust those accordingly. And so uh, Kristen and Joel and the uh, business office staff looked at our rental invoices and then looked surrounding districts uh, fees and she adjusted the document accordingly. And I think there were a few questions submitted, Kristen. Can you please uh, cover those? Yes, um, I will say, uh, first of all, I apologize, the track changes version does not have the changes tracked uh, correctly, um, but I do have on that action sheet, I do have all the listed uh, changes that were made, and then I will make sure the correct track changes version is uploaded in the board packet. So those amounts that were in the board packet on the, on the track changes version are, are what we are recommending. Um, so going over briefly, uh, we are adding uh, or recommending we add a $25 late fee when a third invoice is issued. Uh, we discovered that this is um, something that many schools do and they do it after the second invoice. So we thought it would be good to um, slowly bring into RB by doing it at the third invoice. Um, we added some sample forms so that uh, as we're working with different groups that want to rent, they can see exactly what we're looking for. Uh, facility rental rates increased by 10%. Um, and so that is on page, uh, I believe, well, it's on page eight and nine of the uh, actual facility use agreement, not board book, my apologies. Um, but basically what we discovered as we were reviewing all of our local high schools in the area, other places where people could go and rent from, is that our facility rental rates uh, were significantly lower. Uh, so we, and that was across the board for all groups. So we are recommending a 10% increase, um, and then that would be in place for the two years. We added tennis courts as a place uh, that people could rent out. Uh, we also are suggesting an increase in uh, custodial rates for 3% uh, due to increased cost of Aramark as we anticipate those going up uh, by CPI. Um, and then also uh, we have our PayPal feature that we are actually still in the process of getting up and running smoothly, but we would like to rent that out uh, for group two, which is some of our, our feeder districts. Um, there was a, a question about what is included in group one with governmental entities, um, and that is included with people we have reciprocal agreements with. So for example, uh, the village of North Riverside, when they come in and use our pool for the summer, we have a reciprocal agreement with them. Um, same thing with the village of uh, Brookfield. It also includes uh, the police when they come and do their physical fitness tests, they use our track. Um, they fall into group one as well. Um, and then lastly, there was a question submitted about additional revenue. Um, you know, this is hard to estimate, estimate right now. I can get a more exact estima uh, estimation for next board meeting. Um, my rough estimation right now would be um, approximately anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000, but I can get a more exact amount each year. Uh, our, for the next board meeting. And we'll use last year's numbers since we have a complete set. You know, unfortunately this year with COVID-19, uh, we can't use this year's uh, rental revenue. This is the first, uh, first read. So the board will have an opportunity. Kristen, if you could just update the packet so the track changes are in there and the board could take another review of it. And if we don't get any comments on it, then this is something that we could uh, put on a consent agenda for our next meeting. But this is a two-read uh, agenda item. Thank you. Uh, 